team, I hope that you're all well. Um, I wasn't planning on starting this reading vlog today, but uh, I've done quite a bit today. I've bought new shelf extensions for my shelves um, from Ikea. So I've got a bit of us mooching around Ikea. I've got a bit of me doing that and a little bit of me rearranging my shelves. They're not completely done yet. I'm really not happy with them completely. I'm happy with like the first um, one, two, three, four and a little bit of the fifth one, but the rest I'm really not happy with. So I would really like to have all my books like stood up rather than, you know, stacked as well. But I don't think it's going to be possible because I just have too many books and not enough room. So um, I could do with having another look at that, but I'm just too tired today now. My back is knackered. I've done three shelf extensions and added actual shelves into the extensions as well um, and then rearranged everything. So I'm actually shattered. I do have sprints starting in 18 minutes with my Patreons um, and I wasn't going to start this reading vlog just now. I started saying that and then digressed um because i'm doing a 24-hour readathon on saturday today is thursday evening on saturday with my patrons but i'm not doing like the whole day i'm well it's 24-hour readathon but i'm not doing it you know where i'm staying up so um i might as well start this a little bit earlier show you the footage that i've got from ikea and doing my shows i've also got some footage from wednesday when i went to not end with my brother to go and look at our family holiday home and look at the updates and stuff so i'll put that in as well i'll do that first and then do ikea and then me rearranging some shelf bits um but yeah i am coming on to let you know what i'm planning on reading for well, it'll just be till midnight Saturday because Sunday I'm doing a um, self-care reading vlog. So, and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, it'll just be till Saturday evening. So, it'll be tonight, tomorrow, and then all day Saturday as well. So, it'll include the 24-hour reading vlog. And uh, for that, I do have two books that I'm planning on reading. But I've got two other books that I'm really, really interested in reading right now. One of them's a reread. And it's, I've just, since I picked this book up when I was at Jade's, I've just wanted to pick it back up again. I've already read it. And I, I really, really enjoyed it. And I do want to carry on with the series. But that is The Witcher, The Last Wish. This is the illustrated edition. Um... And for some reason, I just really, really want to pick this up right now. And part of me really wants to listen to my body and pick this up. I am supposed to be reading House of Sky and Breath. I'm taking part in a read-along with Tandem at the moment. But I'm just really, really struggling with concentration. And I think what's, what I'm struggling with is it's such a big book that I'm feeling incredibly overwhelmed. And I just am not picking it up. And I don't want to force myself through it when I'm in this state of mind because I'm just going to end up really upset with myself if I do that so I'm not going to pick that up um but The Witcher is an option for me which will be a reread and I love this book so uh that's an option but the other one that's on my mind as well at the moment is a new one that I just got and that is the At the End of Everything by Marique Ninja Camp and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I've seen it actually over the last few days all over Instagram. So I don't know which one to pick up. Um I may let my patrons choose or I may try starting this one, seeing how it goes, because it does involve a is it a plague specifically that they mention? Infectious disease. Um, it does involve an infectious disease. Basically, we're following a bunch of teenagers um, at the Hope Juvenile Treatment Centre. And uh, the teenagers that are in there are delinquent and essentially are pretty much forgotten by the outside world. And then one day, the guards don't turn up and something fishy is going on. And the teenagers decide that they're going to try and escape and see what's going on in the outside world. It turns out that they are actually now being protected because the outside world does an infectious de disease running riot. And uh, essentially, they have to try and figure out how long they can survive on their own within... The treatment center so it sounds really really interesting and i have seen very good reviews for it so those two are my options to start this evening um we'll see i'm kind of really feeling this one a little bit more to be honest and i just remembered as well that i really want to reread the bone season maybe that's what i need to be doing is rereading stuff at the moment just until i get over this hump not consistently but have a reread on the go 
Um, so those two are my options. Um, and then the 24 hour reading vlog, I have um, two books that I'm reviewing. One of them is Parallel Hells by Leon Craig, which is a queer horror anthology, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm, re I'm uh, reviewing it next week on Instagram. And then I've also got We Were Kings by Court Stevens, which is a thriller, um, which again, I'm really, really looking forward to. So these two are the books that I'm going to be reading during the 24 hour readathon. And then obviously, if I finish these, I will carry on with whatever I start, it, start this evening. Um, but yeah, maybe, I mean, this would kind of, I reckon this is probably more dystopia-esque type book, but it'd still be like in the freaky category, I suppose um but this is obviously more like fantasy but i do feel like there are elements of like freakiness in this as well the the monsters are terrifying a little bit i think personally um because i have watched the show also look people like to invent monsters and monstrosities and then they seem less monstrous than themselves Geralt of rivia so I could read this one. I think this might be what I pick up just to try and keep in theme with, you know, a kind of spooky reading vlog if you like. I kind of, I kind of wish that I hadn't already read Horror Store because I would totally pick that up on the basis I went to Ikea today. That would have been really funny. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I may jump ship and start rereading the Bone season though as well. <laughs> I don't know I'm in a really really weird mood and it's freaking me out and I hate it so we'll see what happens um I just thought I would start this reading vlog off and I will check back in with you and have an update for you Saturday is currently 26 minutes past 11 and um, I'm starting getting ready to start the sprints with my patrons which I'm doing today from 12 p.m onwards and I'm really excited today is supposed to be like a 24 hour readathon for me but I haven't read anything so far so it's probably going to be more like a 12 hour readathon um but it's fine I want to get some reading done we're gonna have a good time I'm incredibly tired <laughs> Um, didn't sleep too great last night and I'm not feeling too good this morning so it's all gonna be good though because it's gonna be dead chill and I'm gonna have a good time I do have three books here that I'm interested in getting through one of which I'm already part way through and I told you about on Thursday that I was gonna pick up and reread which is The Witcher The Last Witch and I am currently on page 114 and I'm really enjoying my reread of this so I'm having a I'm just pull my hair out i'm having a really good time <laughs> literally just pull my hair out um so i'm having a good time with this one this is a fantasy book following Geralt of rivia who is a witcher and basically he can do magic and stuff but he turns into like this monster thing when he does his magic and he kills monsters and that's what's going on uh, i really love the tv show and i loved reading this the first time so i am hoping to continue on with the series once i've read this one reread it because i didn't do that last time um so i would like to finish that today if at all possible and then the two other books that are on my mind are we were kings by court stevens it doesn't come out until the 31st of march in the uk so if i don't get through this one today it's not my main priority i've got to be honest because i would like to finish the witcher um and then the next book that i'm going to tell you about is a priority because i've got to review it next week so this isn't my main priority it is on my tbr for the month but i can get to it later on in the month but i would like to get to it still today if possible but on the basis that i only have 12 hours i've got to be careful what i'm doing and i'm already halfway through a different book uh, i've got to be careful what i'm doing so 
I could pick this up later on in the month. So that's not my main priority today, but Parallel Hells is by Leon Craig, which is a queer horror anthology. And I'm really looking forward to it. I don't read a lot of horror. I don't read a lot of anthologies. So to have that combination is very interesting to me and I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. It's gonna be incredibly spoopy, I think. Look at this vibe. Look at it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, so those two are going to be my main priorities today. If I do get a chance to start, well, to pick this up, I will do. But I'm not going to start something I'm not going to finish over the, like today. Uh, on the basis that next week I have a themed reading vlog. Um, and tomorrow I am, I think, going to try and finish The Roommate Risk. So I may just then, if I finish these two in a reasonable amount of time today and I have chance to pick something else up, but I don't think I'm going to get through We Were Kings, I will just pick something else up that I'm already part way through. I have the Simple Wild, Shadows of Self and the Roommate Wrist that I'm already part way through on my TBR. So I could pick one of those up instead and try and finish them or get through another decent chunk of them or something. But I'll keep you posted later on, but these two are my main focuses now. I am obsessed with this. <laughs> what a vibe uh, that was a total accident as well because i was freaking out on thursday unsure of what to read um and then i have some posts too so i have these um so one of them is well these two are obviously from amazon and i'm not sure if they're from me or amanda said she was sending me something so um we'll see what's in here hi from new york i love your channel and you always put me in a good mood with your energy stuff i hope this book makes you happy from egg esgi Esgi? I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. My apologies. Um, but thank you so much. And hello to New York. I friggin' love New York. It's my favourite place on the planet. <laughs> Other than wherever my nephew is because I love him. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I've been so intrigued by this since I read A Sound for the Wild Bill because I've been told that this one's also very, very good. But I DNF'd. Um, I DNF'd the... The long way to a small angry planet because i just didn't fucking care about that book but i'm really intrigued by this one and it's to be taught if fortunate by becky chambers it's another novella by becky so i am really intrigued in the by this one um because i loved a sound for the wild bill and i believe it's similar to that so interesting thank you so so much for sending me this one i really do appreciate it you didn't have to but thank you so much so sweet of you um, so that's exciting. And then in here, maybe this one's from Amanda. Let's find out. Ooh, no, it's not from Amanda. I wonder where that is then, unless it's coming today. Uh, this is from me. I forgot I bought this. Uh, the Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I'm so intrigued by this book. I cannot wait to give it a read. I've really, really enjoyed... Um, I really loved the guest list. I thought it was very, very good. I haven't read The Hunting Party. Um, so I would like to read this one. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh my God, the chapter's are small. Nice. Um, so yes, very excited about this one. I believe this is like got an apartment and weird things are going on. It's a thriller. Um, excitement. Thank you to myself for getting me this. And I got the hardback because it was super freaking cheap pretty under the dust jacket um incredibly cheap on amazon um so yes i have those two now um and then i also have a red bubble delivery which can only mean one thing that i went and bought more stuff from the final book support group which i did i thought my mug would get here first oh i've not ordered a mug that's why <laughs> i thought my water bottle would get here first i had a water bottle as well um, but I also got myself a second jumper, which I am excited about. In a different colour. Yay! I love it. I think I'm going to change into it for the day. <laughs> My other one is in the wash. Um, so much excitement. I love it. Thank you to me for getting me this top. <laughs> um so yes right i'm gonna go because i need to get myself set up ready for sprints um and i will check back in with you in an update later i don't wanna let you down 
It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights with cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay Even when you wanna walk away When time Get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down Without you would be boring And we'll spend nights Cheap red wine Look at flats Even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna okay. lose you now Okay, it's 6.30 Six and a half hours later-ish Um and i have finished a book i've managed to finish parallel hells it's taken me a while to go through this i've been incredibly distracted today not got as much read as i really really hoped that i would and this 24 then reduced down to 12 hour readathon has not been successful in the slightest but i finished a book my first book of february and i'm glad about it so um this was bizarre it's an anthology which sometimes i struggle with anthologies sometimes i don't it does depend i did like raw by celia ahern that was a good one some of the stories in there were fantastic um but on occasion i can struggle with them because i want more from the story um so these were very bizarre in a sense that there is almost i don't think a single one of these stories wrapped up neatly like there was no explanation for any of them. They were horror anthologies, horror short stories essentially, and there was no explanation as to uh, the bizarre goings on in each of the stories. It was very odd, I don't know. It was an enjoyable read. The narrators for the audiobook were pretty good. You got different narrators for different stories, which was great, but I feel very, I don't know, middle of the road about it. It's probably a three star. It was fine. I just don't read a lot of horror. So maybe I wasn't like properly the target audience for this one, which is a shame. Maybe I should check and see if Leon Craig has any other books. It might be, maybe it'll work for me if I read a novel from her instead. I don't know. But three stars, I've done it now. Um, so now I'm going to get some food because I'm really hungry and I'm either, well, I'm definitely going to watch Gavin's new vlog. I want to watch that. I might catch up on a little bit more booktube because my watch later list has gotten incredibly long again. So I might watch some YouTube for a little bit and then I'm thinking I might watch a film maybe i don't know what but i might watch a film maybe and then later on i may dive back into the witcher i'm not sure we'll see but if not i'll finish it tomorrow instead during my self-care vlog um so yeah i think i'm just gonna chill and relax the rest of the evening i may get some b-roll clips for you but i don't know how long this vlog's actually going to end up being um we'll see uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get on with some food and sorting myself out and uh, I will check back in with you later. It's Monday. Hello team, it's currently Monday and I entirely forgot to wrap this reading vlog up. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Uh, there, I can't remember really what's in this, I'm not gonna lie. I think there's some b-roll from me going to not end on Wednesday, um, some B-roll from Ikea on Thursday, some B-roll of me putting some bits together for my shelves. Um, and then there's a little bit of reading got done. So I was reading both of these books and I managed to finish one of them, which I've given three stars. Uh, it was fine. It is a queer horror anthology and it was okay. I just kind of find 
found some of the stories a little bit too open-ended for my liking and I do wish that some of them were expanded on a little bit more maybe explained a little bit more um but yeah three stars for this one and then I did get part way through The Witcher which I am really enjoying so I'm hoping to finish this this week I managed to get to page 114 so I'm hoping to continue on with this in the upcoming week um but yeah that was basically it. it this was like a really random reading vlog over the space of a couple of days i don't know how many clips i've got out of it or what's in it at all um but i hope you have enjoyed let me know in the comments down below uh what you've been reading what you've been up to and if you don't want to chat to me leave me a red or black heart in the comments down below or both if you want to um just you know because the vibe and i shall see you in the next one bye for now